Welcome back, Helldivers. So, here's the deal. The in-game upscaling in Helldivers 2 is blurry. Remember, this game is running on an engine that was abandoned nearly six years ago, before upscalers like DLSS or FSR were available. And Arrowhead Studios have already stated they plan on focusing on new content over patching in upscalers like FSR or DLSS. What's more, when turning on anti-aliasing, everything gets further blurred and it causes weird ghosting artifacts on weapon scopes. So what many have done, myself included, is just turn off anti-aliasing altogether. So now there are shimmering artifacts everywhere and the game is still blurry even when using the ultra quality resolution scale. So here's how we can fix this problem. With a program called Reshade, we can inject new shaders into the game to improve visual quality. As you can see from this gameplay, it looks very crisp and gets rid of jagged edges and shimmering artifacts. Follow along with me if you'd like to get these higher quality visuals too. But first, let me give a quick shout out and huge thanks to this channel's first super subscriber, Jordan. Super subscribers get access to special perks like badges, shoutouts and videos, early access, exclusive videos, and more. If you'd like to help support this channel and get exclusive perks while doing so, consider clicking that join button below and becoming a super subscriber today. Now on with the video. First, let's go to reshade.me and download the latest version. Next, open Reshade and select the Helldivers 2 executable. Select DirectX 10 slash 11 slash 12 and click next. Here we select which effects to install. On this screen, select Immerse by Marty McFly so we can use his version of anti-aliasing as opposed to the default one. Click next and Reshade will install. Now, when we open Helldivers 2, Reshade will also open on top of it, adding the shaders we configure. Let's start with anti-aliasing. Helldivers 2 by default uses temporal anti-aliasing. It works by combining the current frame with previous ones, taking the average result to smooth out jagged edges. This causes ghosting artifacts and makes the overall presentation blurry, especially in motion. So, the first thing we'll do with Reshade is enable Immerse Anti-Aliasing. This will instead use Subpixel Morphological Anti-Aliasing also known as SMAA. SMAA uses edge detection to blur pixels only along edges, removing jagged aliasing, but leaving the rest of the image clear. This method also works on textures, like this example in the training area. Before we move on, you'll also need to right click on Immerse AA and move it to the top. This is so Reshade will apply the anti-aliasing before any other shader. We want the edges to be smooth before the upscale sharpening because trying to do so afterward will make SMAA miss some jagged edges. Now we can enable the shader responsible for sharpening the upscaled image. Reshade has a few options and we're going to use AMD Fidelity FX Contrast Adaptive Sharpening. Wow, that is a mouthful. It's also called CAS for short and this is actually the same sharpening filter AMD uses for FSR. However, in FSR 2.0, they added a temporal aspect to the upscaler and further improved it recently in FSR 3.0. These versions require being implemented by developers because they rely heavily on in-game's vector data to achieve this. Reporting to the front. As previously mentioned, Arrowhead does not plan on adding FSR or DLSS into this game, but as you can see with CAS and SMAA turned on through Reshade, we're getting a pretty clean result. You shouldn't need to change any settings for this filter, as AMD has already done a great job making a filter that brings out the details in games without over sharpening.
Now let's talk about upscaling. This game's performance is unbelievably bad, and with each patch Arrowhead has given us, it only gets worse. This means that most people are turning down the resolution scale. In my optimized settings guide video, I noted how the game becomes very blurry when going down to balance or lower. This is because at 1440p, the internal resolution is set to 720p on the so-called balanced setting, which is baffling because DLSS will only go that low when set to the performance mode. But since it uses AI to reconstruct the image, it will actually look pretty great. Anyway, if you plan on upscaling your game, don't use resolution scale, instead keep it on native and select a lower resolution like 1080p. If you have a 1080p monitor, then select 900p. Remember, Reshade is running on top of the game, so SMAA and CAS are still resolving to your monitor's native resolution. This is how we get a similar result to FSR, and what's great is, Reshade has a very minuscule impact on performance. For years now, Reshade has been the go-to program for gamers who want to tweak the visuals of their games. Retro gamers use it to emulate high-quality CRT scan lines. It can be used to inject high-quality ambient occlusion, HDR, color correction, or play non-VR games in VR. Last year, when I was still using my GTX 1070, I used Reshade to inject screen space ray tracing into the Batman Arkham games, and that's also possible in this game, but I'll save that for another time. Anyway, that's all from me. Hopefully this video was informative, and if you liked it, be sure to hit the like button and drop a follow. Consider becoming a super subscriber, and don't forget to check out my optimized settings guide video if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.